talk to Jeff, who started CAP, and um, I even got to meet um, Georgia, Van Kylingberg, Olivia, and Laura Dusta, and um, there's a girl who's 10, and I met her. She has alopecia, and it's hard. Why is it hard to answer how you feel about it? No. You don't know? Is is it because um, does it make you sad sometimes? No. no. Is it, do you think alopecia is awesome? Yeah. Yeah. What has it done for you? Well, it's done because I met people and they helped me about it. it. Okay. And so, of all the people that you met, who who is it that really stands out of those people? Georgia. Georgia, why? Why does it? Why does she stand out so much? She helps and she cares. I hold just like her. But that she has a cast, but she does have alopecia. Okay, so she has a cast, but she does have alopecia. Mm -hmm. Got it. Um, who else have you talked to that has alopecia? Laura Dukesta. Laura. Laura Dukesta. And didn't she send you a book? Mm -hmm. How cool was that? She signed it, huh? And and did you do something to reach out to help other people? What? What do we got going on with your, your bracelet? Did something happen? Yeah. Is that, a, is that for your charity? Yeah. What's your charity called? Size doesn't matter and age doesn't matter. Everybody impacts. Wow. Now, when what do you want to do with that charity? What do you want that to be about? I don't know. You don't really know? If, if, if people like that are bald, they can come, or if they have cancer, sure. If they are okay or not okay. Okay, so we can go to the hospital or PR sometimes. We can? You want to go to the hospital and, and, and see these people and talk to them? Yeah, what do you want to say? What would you say to somebody that had cancer? Are you feeling okay? Are you not feeling okay? What if they What if they weren't feeling okay? What would you do to make them feel better? What could you do? If it's like a girl, I'll give them like a... Uh, this kind of wristband, but if it was a boy, I would give him one of these kind or a black belt one. So that you'd give him a wristband? And why would you give him one of those wristbands? Because it's to help him. It's to help him? Yeah. How, how does it help? It would be nice and help him. Give it an album. And how would it be, how would it help him? How do you think that the wristband would help him? Do you think maybe because it tells them to go make something happen and it, it talks about what kind of, what does the wristband say? Um, should, can't, try, equal them to must, do, and will. So it's about changing the mindset. It's about changing the words that we use. Mm -hmm. And do you think that if, if somebody was, um, didn't feel well or, or something, if they were sick or if they were sad or depressed or, or whatever, if they changed their words, would they maybe change the way they felt? Is that how you want to change them? So you would want to give them those wristbands. Mm -hmm. Nice. And and for your charity, do you want to? What kind of things do you want to do to, to help the, the kids? Do you want to? What do you want to do? What do you think about it when you think about having a charity? Nice and, and like they don't have to pay, but they can come. They're all all the families are free, and they don't have to pay any money. Wow, that would be awesome. What kind of events do you want to put on? And, and I do want to give them some money too. You want to give them money too? Mm -hmm. What kind of events do you want to put on? I don't know. Well, what do you think? What would people come to? I don't really know. Well, well, if you could go to any type of event that was a kid event, what would you want to be there? Charity. A, you'd want a charity to be at the event? Mm -hmm. Okay. What else would you want to be there? A bunch of other kids? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Like, <laughs> we have some. And we can even like, take some food out, too.
Okay, so we can have some food, we can eat, that's awesome. What else can we do? We can set up a table to put the food on and put a mat on it, like, like a, kind of like a tablecloth, but like longer. Yeah, a runner? <laughs> like that's white. Okay. Over, and it blocks where, where it holds it. It's like that. a, um, yeah, that's awesome. What else? What else would you want to do there? So we have so so we've got a bunch of kids and we've got some food and a table. What else? Oh, let's have another table for some more food. Okay, so we've got two tables of food. What else would you like to have there besides just food? What about people? Any people that you would like there? What? Okay, so soda. soda. Okay, got it. So we've got the we've got the we've got the beverages and the food handled. Got it. What about people? Are there any people that you would want to have at this event that you would think that all these kids with either cancer or alopecia or something like that would come to? Who would they want to go and see? What, what do you think would be cool to have as a people there? Is there, is there like a class that came from? Like uh, kids that had a class friend and they would want to play with them. Whoa, this is what? What? Stand up. A school that could have alopecia, it's all kids who be alopecia in it, so. Okay, well what about the event though? That's what I'm talking about. Like, wouldn't you guys want to have anybody there? Like, what about, what about any people that could sing or people that could entertain or, you know, clowns or, I don't know, something, you know, princesses. It's kind of like a circus. So a circus. Mm -hmm. You think having a, like an event like a circus would be cool? <laughs> Like a, kind of like a circus, circus, but kind of different. Like though. when we were, like. So, so what was that? Like we should like it's kind of like a circus, circus. Okay, so you want to have an event that's like a circus. Yeah. All right, have and then. Like clowns there that do funny things. Okay, and what else? What else could you have there? Hmm. No toys. Toys. Do we give the toys away? No. Yeah, we 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 bring them uh -huh. and let the kids play with them, and then if they want them, they can just pay us the money and then we can give them to them. Okay, all right. And if they don't want them, then we take them back with us and then we bring them to the next event. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Like, but on on um on Santa Claus. When they, when Santa Claus comes, whoever doesn't get any toys, you have to give them away because they don't get any. So we got to give the toys to people that don't get any toys. Yeah, even if they're good. Even even, even if they're good. It, yeah, okay. If they're good and, and so even if they're bad. Like if they're like not they're bad and good, they should give some toys to them from Christmas. Okay, so we can we can handle that. We can look at, but but just so I get this straight, for your first event for your charity, you want to have a circus theme to the event, and you want to make it so all the families and 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 people could come for free. So basically, we have to we have to fund this entire event that you want to do for your charity, and you want to go to hospitals and and you want to you want to inspire and impact kids in hospitals too. When do you want to start doing that? That's people the, want it, we can even invite people if they want to come. So we can invite people at this event to come to the hospital the next day to go and, and do stuff at a hospital. Mm -hmm. When do you want to do this? Do you want to do this this year? Yeah. And, and like make when do you want to do this? This year after event. You want to do this in at Christmas, December this year? After the event. Well, why don't we do it in, if we did it in December, if we had the event in December, then that would be during Christmas, so we could go to the hospital right after the event, all the kids would be in the hospital during Christmas time, we can give them, we can give them presents. Yeah. That's what, I mean, you just said you want to give kids yeah. presents, right? Yeah, yeah, and I do want to make alopecia. Like She's been talking about Santa Claus. He's got and cancer bracelets, and whoever had cancer, that they could have a cancer bracelet or if there was like a sister that has alopecia then we could have given to the sister like if it's a girl or a boy that has cancer or alopecia we can still we can give out the 
alopecia ones, and uh, cancer ones, and even the wristbands that we have. Sometimes. So do so. Do you think alopecia is awesome? Yeah. Why do you think alopecia is awesome? And tell me, say I think alopecia is awesome because I I think alopecia is awesome because anyone can impact. All right. Well, you you did you did but awesome. Sometimes dogs and cats are bald, but yeah, they can have their hair. Oh yeah. But sometimes their hair grows back in, like my sister. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, she has a lot right there. Like growing in like a mohawk sometimes. <laughs> oh my gosh, it <laughs> is. Straight line. Yeah, that's awesome. All right. Um, so, with that, alopecia is awesome. Bald girls rock, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, I think you are an amazing little girl. Mm -hmm. And are you excited? What are you doing um, tomorrow? Going at night and going to Georgia's radio. Yeah, and she's gonna be. And there's like another girl, but I forgot her name. Amy. Yeah, and she's yeah, and, too. Yeah, but she doesn't want to take off her wig. Yeah. <laughs> Mom, if, if me and Georgia do it, Amy will probably do it too. Mama says. Because I'm gonna wear my wig. You are? Mm -hmm. And you're gonna take it off? Mm-hmm. Wow. And Georgia and Amy must do it because I, I think Georgia is gonna do it for sure. Now he's one of the good ones, must. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.